Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another CMU comparison video. In this one, we're going to be comparing CMU 1.12.2, 1.13.0 and the work in progress build version of CMU 1.14.0. So this version is generally going to look slightly worse than all of the previous ones I've done in the past. Usually I use a 1080p resolution graphics pack, but due to the fact that the resolution packs for 1.14.0 are not currently ready, I had to use 720p or a no resolution graphics pack across all of these different runs. You should also be made aware that even though performance is very poor in CMU 1.14.0, this is due to the fact that practically all of the internal optimizations in this emulator have been turned off in this build. They have done this so that they can find absolutely every single graphical error and bug and have it fixed before 1.14.0 goes into public release. Performance wise, 1.13.0 and 1.12.2, at least on NVIDIA GPU hardware, run practically identically. AMD GPU users on the other side have reported to me that when using 1.13.0, the massive shadow issue that used to follow you around in-game is now fixed, as well as broken occlusion on foliage like grass and different kinds of plants. This change is a fairly significant compatibility improvement for all AMD CMU users. If you yourself are an AMD GPU user, please let me know down in the comments when CMU 1.13 releases or if you have access to it right now what your experience with Breath of the Wild and other games on this build are. Let's move on to our final test area, the Great Plateau. So once again in this area, you can see the performance parity between 1.12.2 and 1.13.0. It still astounds me that this 3 year old emulator is able to run a game like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild at frame rates as high as we are seeing right now. Even though we are only currently running the game at 720p, it is still an absolutely visually astounding game. Frame rate wise, 1.12.2 and 1.13.0 are so similar you probably couldn't tell them apart, however some of the new quality of life UI and graphics pack changes we are seeing in this new 1.13 build are definitely making it worth the upgrade. If you haven't seen my video on the new graphics packs and how they function in 1.13.0 and will function in the future of CMU Emulator, I would definitely advise that you go and check out the video that I made. It's only about 2 or 3 minutes long, but it is absolutely mind-blowing these changes we are seeing in this new CMU version. So yeah, that's about it for this video guys, I just wanted to show you exactly what you can expect in 1.13.0 and 1.14.0 this work in progress build. Once again, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.